something I'm often asked when talking about Insight is, is it accurate? And it is accurate and has been tested against the ASHRAE standard 140. It uses the DOE 2.2 engine, and upon request, it also uses the Energy Plus engine. Insight, which is based on Green Building Studio, has been validated since 2008, and the test results can be found online, as you'll see in a minute. It's also certified by the U.S. Department of Energy as a qualified computer software program for federal tax incentive requirements. As I mentioned, the results are published online for the testing. This is required as part of the ASHRAE 90.1 Appendix G requirements. Insight also uses Autodesk Climate Server. Here's some information you can see about where that information comes from. There's a blog post listed at the bottom that will give you additional insight if you're curious. Another interesting thing is Autodesk is a research partner with GBXML, the organization that develops and maintains the XML schema for green building data. They're working on a level three compliance that combines geometric accuracy and automation. And when I speak of automation, you can see here that it will take a Revit model and accurately break the model apart and simplify it into a highly accurate energy model. For example, on the top row here, you can see a balcony, which could be modeled in Revit as the main floor in the building extending out to be part of that balcony. And also in the section, you can see there's a sloped floor. When Revit creates the energy model, the floor is automatically separated between the inside of the building and the balcony. This is also true for the parapets. The example at the bottom, a tilt-up precast panel that might go from the top of footing all the way up to the parapet, you can see a split into three separate walls, a below grade exterior wall and a shade surface. Looking at this example, the study that was done by Autodesk, you can see that the energy model is highly accurate when compared to the original Revit model. It's also important to understand where you are on Earth, as we'll see in a minute. One of the examples that I give here today is based on Duluth, Minnesota, where I live, which is in climate zone number seven, the coldest one in the United States. This is also juxtaposed to the world's largest freshwater lake, 10% of the Earth's fresh water. And it's also, talking about its size, it's the same size as the island of Ireland. So later when we talk about finding the nearest weather station relative to your project, it's not always the one closest, as there may be a vertical elevation difference, which is true also where I live, or large bodies of water. So in this course, we'll take a look at many things that relate to creating an accurate and quick energy model to do early analysis for architects.